Hey, it's Randy with Speckled Seahorse, and I am back to do um, video number two of my boho journal. And here I have just kind of laid out what I want to do tonight. Um, I put together some of those stamps that I was talking about that I wanted to do. And I haven't put them all the way together. Um, I just kind of did the fabric and sewed them on to the fabric squares like this. Uh, I think you guys can probably figure out really easily how to cut some fabric squares and how to glue or sew on your stamp. Um, these are real stamps. I didn't do any stamping on fabric or anything and make anything my own. I just wanted to use these stamps because I thought they were really neat. So I'm going to embellish those. And I uh, have a couple of projects with some CD cases and something to put in them if we get to that. Um, and then I kind of show you where I'm going with this cover. And I'm hoping to get some feedback maybe from you guys and see if um, you think that's a good way to go. Because I feel like it needs something else. So I'm going to get this stuff out of the way right here and put that over there so that I can work and put these down it's probably going to get dark and I'm going to need to turn a light on but um, my light is pretty bright so hopefully it won't be too bad so I'm just going to take these off of this I put them on a doily so you could see them a little bit better maybe I need to leave them on there it's hard to see this red piece of material. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> My camera is so sensitive. Oh, so sorry. Okay. So maybe you can see what I'm doing that way. Um, okay. So... What I've done is I have cut up some little pieces of fabric and I picked out the stamps that I wanted to work with and I just sewed them on these little pieces of fabric. And I used red fabric and I use I mean uh, red thread and I used the fabric that we had looked at for the tabs for the journal. So nothing new, um, all the same things. Let me put over here. And the reason that I went ahead and put those together for you is because, you know, it would be kind of boring and um, it takes me a long time sometimes to decide about things. And so I don't want to torture you with that. But this I've got pretty laid out. So hopefully it will go uh, nicely. Here is one that I experimented on and that I finished up. It's just got some blue silk, um, some blue silk, some purple silk that I already had in my stash. That's not Sheila's, it's just mine. And then I cut a piece of um, that blue off that dark blue piece that I was working with. And I had actually seen Sheila do some beads with some Fabri-Tac, some seed beads, and I wanted to try it. And so I experimented with that on here and it turned out really cute. And, um... I was thinking about putting it, oh, that's really close, up here on the journal to get something up top and maybe something else. I don't know. And I've kind of put that feather on there and then getting some lace at the bottom. And I thought about, um, I have these boho, um, coin things on a belt. I thought about putting some of those on the bottom too. So I think that'll turn out fun. I'm going to move this camera just a little bit. Okay. And so what I had done for this one, I thought she was so pretty with that orange already that I just wanted to put one little flower on there. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm just kind of pre-making things that I want to um, incorporate into the journal. I don't know exactly where they'll be yet. Um, you know, 
they'll just be randomly stuck in there somewhere unless I come up with a bigger and better plan for them during this process so that is just cute and simple and I like it for this one it's kind of small it's got an airplane on there and I use some of that pretty fabric and I'm just gonna put this little sparkly bit on there it's just one of those um, flat back iridescent pieces that I think are so pretty. I use them a lot for the center of flowers and things. And I don't trust that sticky on there. So I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac on there. Let's see. Where do I want this? I think I'm going to put it right there. Cute. These little tiny things, you don't have to do a whole lot to them, um, and it makes a big difference, too. So that's that one. I will show you how I did um, the seed beads on this one. It's, it's pretty easy. This was a bigger one compared to the other one, so that's why I thought that it would work really well on that one. I actually fussy cut out some um, bits of the... Well, is it this one? I think it was part of this piece. And it you know, just looks like little leaves. It was kind of the lacy part on the tool. And put it on there with a blue flower. That one was really fun and easy. This one has got the sparkly fabric on it. And then the blue silk from her um, silk package. And I found a little purple flower that I thought would be really cute on there. Let's see, I don't want to use those scissors. I don't want to mess them up. Cut that off of there. I thought that would be a good contrast to this little stamp since it was red. I think I might put something else on there. I have some little bits up here. Um, I have some bowls that I have saved my bits in. Remember when I told you that I was going to use all my bits? Well, I definitely am. And this, these are the types of things that I use them for. So, let's see what will work here. I wonder if some lace would work. That's like a scrappy piece of lace. I think that works great. Alright, so I think I'm going to put the flower on the lace with some Fabri-Tac again. And then I'll put the lace on the stamp. Oops, I think my lace is falling apart a little bit. This is some really super old lace. <clears throat> it's from the late 1800s, early 1900s, and um, I just love working with it. There we go. This gives it just a little bit of softness. So cute! Hoping this video won't be an hour. Um, not that it, you know, took forever to upload or anything like that, but I don't know what your preferred time frame is for videos. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this one. I don't know what happened to what I was going to use on there. It is gone. Maybe it was that. And I had a piece of that, and I've got a random flower over here. Who knows? But this, I thought, that piece right there was awesome. And it went really well. So I think what I'm going to do, let's make sure i got the right side. Let's put that right here. I'm going to cut that down a little bit. It's not like you can see that. It's kind of invisible anyway. Get some Fabri-Tac on there from my bubbling Fabri-Tac. 
Not the right side. Gosh, just keep feeling like that's the wrong side. I guess it's not. There we go. I have some little charms too, but I don't think these are big enough for a charm. I don't know. What do I think about adding that little doolally on there? Hmm. Maybe up top there. Yeah, that would be cute. I try to keep all these things handy so I don't have to go on the hunt while I'm doing something, but it's, it takes time to get organized, let me tell you. Okay. That little white gives it a little bit of a pop. I'm not sure what is on this stamp, but it's, um, it's a botanical. A lot of these are from Spain. Um, that's from Italy. So I love these stamps. They're so interesting. Okay, so this is one that I had, one of the first ones that I had kind of pre-planned out. Let's see if I can find the bead. that to lay flat so this is actually a piece of trim that I have had forever and I love it and so um, I always save these little teeny bits because you never know when they're gonna look cool on something so I think that's gonna look good right there I'm just gonna come over here and rub it on my bubbly Fabri-Tac stick it down there this one I use lace on and um, some of that red tulle type fabric mesh. And so I've got three beads here that I just wanted to kind of dot on the on that trim there, that gold trim. I get my fabric tack to cooperate here. Let's see. I get my hands unsticky. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put it on the bead. That might be my best bet. Oh, this is probably gonna get tricky. Okay, one bead. I'm gonna get my super long tweezers and hope I don't stick them right in the fabric tack. Where did I go with that? It's like totally disappeared. Where are you? Did it even stick? I mean, I see a little bit. Alright, we're going to try this again. Oh gosh. Squeeze it too hard. The tweezers and the fabric tack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ta-da! Whew! It's an adventure. Adventures in glue. Okay. wonder how I should do the other. I'm just going to stick that in there. Get my tweezers. Drop that on there. Maybe. Okay. Oh gosh. This is stressful, y'all. <laughs> this darn fabric tech. Let's see. How did I do that? Get my bead. Get my fabric tech. Okay, that worked out better. Maybe. 
Okay. Uh oh. Pulled up my whole doily. Okay, there we go. That one you can't see very good, but it's red and purple on there. I think it looks really cool. I don't know. It looks very elegant. Okay. We'll have PTSD from Fabertac episode. Let's see. What was I going to do next? Oh, let's look at this one. Isn't that stamp cool? That's from Spain. It looks like Jesus. Really cool. And so, I've had this scrapped left over for a while. And there's the longer piece of it. And so, I cut out a little bit of it and immediately saw a crown. And so, I'm going to put the crown on Jesus. Because he's the king. And he needs his crown. It has some little beading on it. Really pretty. This stamp has um, the red and blue fabric on it. A piece of blue and then a piece of the... Um, I'm getting it. This one on there. Okay, sorry, I was adjusting myself. I don't know why I sit on my knees. Um, it's not good for you. And then your feet go to sleep, and then you can't get up. <laughs> I think I want to put that down there. I thought I had one cut, but. I'm going to cut this one. I'll tell you, this stuff right here will wreck your scissors. Okay. Oh. I tell you, I'm not, not on with the Fabri-Tac tonight. It is not cooperating. Okay. Gosh. I hope my finger wasn't covering that the whole time. I tell you what, these tweezers are my best friends sometimes. Those, they're just long tweezers with the um, needle point ends. I used to sell origami owl jewelry and that's where I got them to pick up those little teeny tiny charms. Okay. Oops. I think that one's done. I like that one. Very regal. Okay, what is this one? Oh, there's two on this one. Uh, it's a lady. Oh, ooh. and don't know where it's from, but I love the orange paper backing. And then I just did that really gorgeous kind of paisley damask or whatever that fabric is. Cause y'all know, I don't know my fabric names very good. Let's see. What was the plan for this? With this, I don't know why am I not liking that. I think that went with that. This goes with that. It had to have been this. What do we like? Hmm. <laughs> well, I had a pink flower. I think that was it. The pink flower. Yep. Let's see, do I want to put some lace on there? Or do I want another little bit? Let's see what we got. Even just a tiny bit. Oh, here's one. No, I like this better. Okay, let me get that off. Just cutting that little stem off. These came in some Happy Mail or a swap. You know, those they're those little flowers that come in little bundles like this. You can get them at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I use those things all the time. I love them. Okay, so I think, let's see. Oh, maybe I will use that other piece. It's a little bit bigger. Mm 
There we go. Oh yeah, I like it. It softens it up a lot. Okay. I came home last night and tried to get organized and do a video. And I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. Saved my life. <laughs> so no video last night. Had to kind of my first day back at work from vacation like on site I had work from home on Friday and so it was a lot to do a lot of meetings I love that I like how the pink and the orange look good together there okay so this isn't going too bad luckily I had already pre-positioned everything so that I wouldn't torture you too bad. I thought about putting this red on there. I think that looks good right there. Is that the right way? Doo -doo -doo. Yes. So I think I'm going to cut that right here. And put that on there just like that. When I sit my fabric tack down, I don't ever stand it all the way back up because it takes too long to get it back down. Um, a lot of people close their lid every time they use it so it doesn't bubble up. But I obviously don't have time for that right now. Let's see. I want one of those. I don't know. I'm. I love sparkly bits, so... Every time I get a chance to put a sparkly bit on something, I do. <laughs> that's gold and that's silver. I don't think so. Maybe a yellow flower. I like it. I try not to overuse one thing, but I don't know. I love these flowers. I just love using them. I think I'm going to stick that little bit on there. It keeps, oops, this little bit of lace. It keeps flying all over the place, so it's going to get used. Put that there. And then you get the flower. Kind of stick my fingernails down in there and make sure it gets adhered to whatever I'm trying to get it glued to. Doesn't really want to stick to that silk. Okay, there we go. And there, looks like a little leaf coming out of there. Cute. Okay, now this one, I tell you, every time I use a piece of velvet, it just makes me insane. So this stamp was supposed to be on top of this velvet, okay? And I'm sewing. <laughs> the sewing machine is um, moving the fabric as the needle's moving, and that velvet keeps going scooch. Scooch, scooch, scooch. And I was like, I can't win. I just can't win. <laughs> so, there it stayed. But that's kind of a um, netting look type piece with some cool sequins in it. And I'm going to put this really pretty piece of trim on there. Um, so, it will really actually work out very well that the velvet moved over right there. Because I think that's going to look good there. That is the most gorgeous trim I have ever seen. I got that in a swap with um, Cindy. Gosh, I'm going to butcher her name. Matsumoto? Mudo? Oh my gosh. Don't kill me, Cindy, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, and it's just one of the, my favorite things that 
was in the swap that we did. It was um, the altered envelope file swap. Al no. Altered file folder swap with ephemera. Whew, my brain is not working today, guys. Not working. Okay. Are we down? Let me get that down a little more. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do a number on this Fabri-Tac. How many times have I said Fabri-Tac during this video? Like, I feel like I've said it 42 times already. Okay. I like that. Very pretty. That stamps from Spain, too. Mm, I don't know why. Oh, look. I called You Know Who. A-L-E-X-A. <laughs> She thought I said something to her. Oh, well. Okay. I'm going to trim this off. For that piece. Okay. This is a cool stamp. It looks religious too. Of course I can't read it. And I don't know that we have anybody from Spain on in our group. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows Spanish from Spain. Spanish. That's so pretty and sparkly. This has that red and blue material as well. And then I put some of the blue material on there. Cute. I feel like it needs a little bow right there or something. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Like something sticking up there like that. I don't know why. I don't want it to cover that up, though. Let's see. Hmm. What to do? Do I have anything? Isn't that piece pretty? I guess that again. Here. Maybe this. Maybe a little. Hmm. What do y'all think? It looks like a little tiny tag. Maybe I will do that. That's kind of cute. Let's try it. I'll probably. I will not go back and sew that on. Look at this. Jumbly mess. My paper towel. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Fabri Tac Cameo. <laughs> okay. Where did it go? that on backwards. I think I did. Put that on the back side. It's so hard to tell with this. It's so pretty on both sides. Alright. That string has got to go. Okay. You stay on there. Just hold that for a second. Make sure it sticks. So cute. Little itty bitty tiny things. I love miniature things. Do y'all like miniature things? They're so cute. My daughter has a little glass collection of miniature animals. And I, I try to look for them wherever I go, but you can't find them everywhere. Okay. 
I'm going to um, show you how to do the fabric tack and the beads. This already kind of has a little jewel on it, but I didn't stick it down with oops anything. So we'll pull that off. And then, so all you do is you basically draw a line with your fabric tack wherever you want your group of beads to go. And then you have your beads ready. So like I have my beads ready here whatever colors I want. And I'm only going to grab those seed beads when I go in there and grab some. Um, so I'm going to kind of do like this. Make sure it's a little thick so the beads have something to fall down into. And go off the edge a little bit. Okay, so it looks like I have a really big glob on there, but you need that. So I'm just going to grab some beads and then I'm going to start dropping them on there. And then pushing them back up in there into the fabric tag. They'll find it. Um, you just kind of have to make sure they get um, enough of themselves on there to be able to hang on. There's a big sparkly one in there. Oh, I got some sequins. Okay, I think that might be... See what else I can get in there. And that's the good thing about putting a big glob of the fabric tack on there. You can push some beads down in there. And it sticks them really good. I don't see any fabric tack. What's my camera doing here? Look how cool that looks. And that big sparkly one. I hope you can see that okay. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Awesome. And then let's see. Do I want to put that in there? On there? I don't know. It's kind of Hmm. Well, it can't hurt. I mean, the more sparkly, the better, right? Let's get my little... Tweezers and see if I can stick it on there. Okay. Okay. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, so that's one, another one down. We only have a few left. Let's see, I've got one, two, two left. Okay. So I kind of um, was just placing things randomly on here to see what I liked and so I put one of those little um, tiny pieces of trim that came off of a piece of um, sorry and so I'm going to glue that down in the middle of that flower and do it this way. There, and then I'm going to do that up there. Oh, I don't know. That's the sparkly piece of that fabric. Maybe I should do it down here. Yeah, 
That's what I'm going to do. Love that lace. It's just really pretty. Okay. I don't even know where that's from. Well, that's from Spain as well. Well, it says España. I'm assuming that means Spain. Okay, last one. Red and purple. What are we going to do here? I think I had that red. Did I have that red out for this? I don't know. Uh, not liking that. I don't know. Let me get my little thing back out. A little bowl of snippets. Oh, there's some more sparkle. There's a lot of sparkle, actually. Ooh, here's this. Hmm. Should do that. Kind of looks like a banner, doesn't it? That way. Let's try it this way. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Trying not to make this too painstakingly of a process of decision making. Put that on there. The guy's bald. It, it'll be okay if I cover up a little bit of his head. Then nobody will know. Okay. And do I need something on top of there? Maybe... ridiculous. What about this? Nope, that's not working. Um, what do we need? Need that? Maybe so. Need this? This is getting crazy, y'all. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's screaming at me through the uh, YouTube going, put such and such on there. <laughs> Wish I could hear you. Probably my friend Annette. She is such a good um, just do it kind of person, you know. Hmm. Maybe it needs a flower. Maybe that's what it is. Flower to the rescue. How about that? White flower. I like it. Okay. Really cannot go <laughs> wrong with those flowers. Okay. I mean, I guess I could have put hmm, all kinds of things on there. I've kind of limited myself having out to those flowers. <clears throat> oh, well. More experimentation later. Okay. All right. So that is that. I'm going to put these things back. And <clears throat> let's see what they look like all together. They're so cute. Little bitty teeny tiny things. Okay, Let's see if I can get, actually get them in frame here, maybe. Let's see, how do I go to pull us out? There we go. And oh, you can see down there. Oh, 
Okay, so we made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of those. Okay, so I will put those away. Those are ready. This is something that you could do when you're sitting down and watching TV at night. <clears throat> just take your couple little bowls, you know, or whatever you use. I just use little bowls. And uh, sit in front of the TV and watch your favorite show. And make little stamps or whatever it is that you're making. That one turned out really good. Okay. I'm going to put those over there. Okay. So, the other thing that I thought about doing is... Oops, wrong bowl. I wanted to put some fabric in a circle and put maybe some lace over it and see about a, um, a picture on it. And so I kind of started doing this, but I need some fabric. And what I was going to do is um, also decorate the outside of this cd case when i was measuring it for my journal it's a little bit wide for it so i would probably fold or cut this down here at the bottom but make sure that my um whatever i'm going to make fits in there but i thought it would be really pretty if you could see something um soft and i don't know just florally and pretty through that CD case. So, what I was thinking about was one of these pieces of lace here. Wasn't real sure which way I wanted to go, so I could put that piece of lace on there and cut that, fussy cut that out, leave the doily behind it, put this on there. I could cut that down a little bit. I wish I had a picture. I wish I had something in a circle. The only thing I have in a circle is this medallion here. Which wouldn't actually be too bad. So maybe we'll try that. I do have this little map I cut out from that book as well. Um, but okay, so I'm going to cut this flower out and see what we have. I'm not sure if I want to go with that doily, if I want to go with a piece of fabric. Gosh, I hate cutting this up. It's so pretty. <clears throat> pretty sure like this came from my friend Annette. She coffee dyed a bunch of lace. Oh my gosh, it turned out amazing. And it still smells good. <laughs> I think she did some really strong coffee dyeing because she wanted to get it really dark. There we go. Just kind of cut down around it and make it a little bit easier. pulled some um, more papers today for the journal. You know, my mind gets to racing once it gets onto something, and so I was thinking about the things that I thought I might want in there. So I pulled some ledger. Um, I have a couple of really old ledgers. 1910, I think, um, is the date on the one that I pulled from. The sad thing is my ledgers don't have the greatest of handwritings. Um, one of them is from a family that ran, I guess, a, um, a general store. And um, I don't know, the handwriting just wasn't as pretty as some of the others that I have seen, which is sad, but, you know, the ledger is still really cool. It's got the names of the people on there. Um, 
and I guess they were, you know, just putting things on their tab or whatever, on their bill. Or maybe that was just their way of record keeping. I don't know. I used to work at um, a store a long time ago in retail um, at the mall. And they really didn't have a cash register with UPC codes or anything like that. So we used to have to write everything down at the register in a composition notebook. And it kind of sounds crazy, like it would take a lot of time, but it really didn't. So it, it made me think that um, that was just their way of kind of keeping inventory of what sold. And then plus, if the people had, you know, a bill or whatever, they would know exactly what they bought and exactly how much they owed. And then if they made a payment, then you just make write it in the ledger so it, it was kind of all-encompassing right there it was a pretty good idea I coffee dyed these doilies they didn't get really dark um, I'm gonna try some more and see what happens if I can make that make the coffee stronger okay so if I put that there and I've got that and that and let's see how much room that takes up. That takes up right much room. I don't know if that's what I want to go with. So I'm going to try some fabric pieces. Let me grab those and see if I like that better. So I wonder about this. I don't know. I kind of wanted it to be soft though. Oh, but gosh, that's pretty, isn't it? Hmm. I like that. Oh, and then I could embellish this. Hmm. I could put a few seed beads in the middle there or something. I don't know. I could do something. Or one of those, um, even one of these little sparkly pieces. I'm, I'm kind of digging on this. Let's see. Let me try something else to make sure. What else we got? So here is um, a piece of my fabrics. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I like that too. <laughs> How am I going to decide? Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Well, I guess. Let me see what this light one looks like. Oh, goodness. I don't know which one I want. I think that's backwards. Yeah. I like that, but not as good as the other ones. It's not as um, striking. So I think I'm going to pass on that one. Let's see about this one. Hmm, I like that. I'm just wondering if this one is too much like the middle medallion. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. All right. I think I'm going to go with that. And I wonder if I could make a circle of this deer head. Wouldn't that be pretty? And I can get the rose in there. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So, get this stuff out of the way and see. Oh, there's a flower right there. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look how perfect that is. I wonder if I can see that on, oh yeah, thank goodness. Okay, I love it when you can see it on the back. And that way you can make sure you're getting what you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this black kind of charcoal pencil that I have and I'm just gonna trace around this doily like I did with the medallion on the front. And it'll give me a guide that, to use when I cut it. Oops. 
Who knew these doilies were going to be my template for everything? Oops. Watch my time. I'm about at 15, min uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> 50 minutes. I'm so sad. I, um... I usually sit in my craft room and look out my window at the little goats in the neighbor's yard. And um, since the leaves have grown in this summer, I can't see through. And so I can't see the baby goats. It's so sad. And they're so cute. There are, I think there's five of them. Three, four, five. Yeah. Um, two of the goats had babies, and one had three, and one had two. They're so darling. My husband said he wanted to get some chickens, but I don't know. I wouldn't mind them. I like fresh eggs. My neighbors had a bunch of chickens, too, and they had a couple roosters one time. Whew. Talk about an early morning Saturday wake up call. And then he would get confused and he would start um, crowing at night. <laughs> he was funny. Okay, it's hard to see right here. I don't even know. It was such a close edge there. I think I'm just going to guess on that. There we go. Okay. See, that's why I pre-cut stuff, y'all. <laughs> okay, so where is my lace? Alright. So it's backwards again. Maybe not. There it is. Okay. This or this. I'm just going to cut this out and see what it looks like. I can't see that on the back, so I'm going to have to do this on the front. Make sure I get all of his horns. There we go. Okay. Not the best cutter in the world. Have to concentrate, y'all. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty, but there's some black on there. Need to get that off. Or do I? Oh my gosh, I should have left it. That would be automatically distressed. Okay. Okay, what do we think? Oh gosh. That's pretty. But do I like this better? Because my eyes are just digging on that. Maybe I'll use that deer in something else. I think I'm, I'm going to do this. I really like this. Um, I feel like I need something else. Oh, and this is kind of flimsy. What else do I need? <laughs> I need another piece of fabric on the back. Or what? I wonder if I should do that. And then that'll, that'll make it thicker. Oh gosh, okay. I'm just going to do it, y'all. Just going for it. Because that is way too flimsy to stick in there. I hope this is going to show up. Ugh, it's not even showing up. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh. 
Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. I might pause this. Let me see if I can pause it and sew it and then come back. Let's see if I know how to do that.